So let's uh, talk about the map projection. So we know that there are two types of spatial data, uh, vector data and rust data. And we'll go to deep uh, in the next uh, following weeks that get familiar with those two types of data. So uh, no matter which type of data we are using in GIS, so one important feature that we have to be um, care about is called the map projection. So that is actually a, a, another unique feature about the spatial data, so that when we are handling spatial data in GIS, we have to be careful about map projection. So for non-spatial data, we don't need to define the projections. But for, for spatial data is a vector data, all the rust data, we all need to define the projection. So it is an important concept in GIS. Okay. Um, so let's first look at the Earth. So why do we need a projection? So this is the Earth that we think about like in our mind. So we thought the Earth is like this. Uh, so a very beautiful, uh, perfect circle or 3D. Um, Actually, <laughs> this is how the Earth looks like. So it is a very irregular 3D object. So it is not a perfect circle uh, in any um, angles. So uh, it is a very irregular 3D object. So that gave us an prob a problem that how can we locate uh, the locations, the spatial location of the object on the Earth. So that's the why we need to talk about the spatial, uh, the, uh, the map projection and also coordinations. Okay, so the first concept is called geoid. See, geoid is the most precise shape representation of the Earth. Okay, so that's based on the strength of the gravity of the Earth's surface. So geoid is a mathematic model that captures uh, the shape of the Earth based on the gravity of the Earth's surface. But geoid is very, very complicated. So if we use geoid as a baseline to, to locate our uh, objects, and it is very hard, actually. So that's why that we have ellipsoid. OK, so ellipsoid is also a mathematic model. But that model that the best fits the geoid, okay. So you can think about the ellipsoid as a simplified uh, mathematic model of the geoid, okay. So we have geoid that is the most accurate representation of the Earth, and but that is too complicated if we are using geoid as a reference. So then we simplify the geoid one more step so that we have ellipsoid. Ellipsoid is uh, easier, so it's a simplified representation of the Earth, and that serves as a reference by different types of the coordination systems. Okay, uh, so, this, so this image shows the differences among the Earth, uh, the geoid, and also ellipsoid. Uh, so we can see that the green circle representing so is the Earth, so that's the surface. So we have a land, we have the oceans, okay? And based on that uh, uh, gravity of the surface, and then we have this blue one, so the blue circle, that is geoid, okay? So geoid is, is already simplified, and the, the shape of the Earth, that is the most accurate representation of the Earth, um, but it is a little bit complicated still. So based on the geoid, uh, we have a simplified version that is ellipsoid. Okay, so ellipsoid is, a, is, um, is easier so that we ignore a lot of details uh, from the geoid. Geoid already ignores some details of the surface. So that, so geoid is a simplified mathematical model of the true Earth. Ellipsoid is another is another simplified mathematical model of the geoid. And ellipsoid, 
will serve as the reference that uh, how we define the locations of all the objects on the Earth. So when talking about location on the Earth and in GIS, so we are talking about the system that based on the ellipsoid. Okay. Uh, so there are several um, uh, different type of ellipsoid uh, reference uh, systems references. Uh, you can see there are a lot of the ellipsoid references. The one that we used is called the WGS. 1984. So the one that the most commonly used uh, in GIS is the one that we call WGS uh, 1984. Okay, so WGS 1984. So you will see, you will hear this term a lot uh, in GIS. So that is the most commonly used ellipsoid system. Okay, so now we have the baseline. We have ellipsoid. And how can we identify the location? Identify the locations of the object on the Earth, uh, so that the where we have this coordinate system. Okay, so coordinate system is a reference system, so based on ellipsoid, that we can represent the locations of any geographic features, images, or observations. So it can be a building, it can be a river, it can be a road, it can be a piece of land. Or it can be human activities. Okay, uh, so why do we need a coordination system? So actually, it, it it is very important in GIS. So so when we import any spatial data in GIS, we must make sure that the that data set has coordination system, uh, because it will enable us to match the data. From any uh, from different data sets, okay. So when we have the coordination system, so we know that okay. So for example, GMU in Harrisonburg, okay. So that one data set, so data set A, so representing GMU in Harrisonburg, and data set B, okay. So that GMU in Harrisonburg. So for so for the both data set, once they have the coordination system. And then we import that one into GRS, and we can match those two data sets in GRS. So when they have, they all have the coordination system. Okay, so we know that. Okay, so the GMU in data set one, we all match exactly the same location on the GMU on data set two. Okay, so that they can match each other uh, for data integration. Okay, uh, so when we talk about the coordination system, so there are two types of the coordination system. Okay, uh, one is called geographic coordination system. So that is uh, based on the latitude and also longitude. So we all have learned the latitude and longitude. Um, so based on latitude, longitude on the globe, so we can reference any locations um, based on latitude and longitude. So that is called the GCS or Geographic Coordinate, Coordinate System. The second one is called Projected Coordinate System, or we call it PCS. Okay, so PCS is a very interesting one. So uh, PCS means that so we convert this 3D Earth, the Earth from a 3D dimension into a two dimension, into a two dimensional coordination plan. Okay, most likely we're using Cartesian coordinate plan. Okay, so there is a mathematic transformation that we transfer the three dimension coordination systems of the, the Earth on the three dimension into a two dimensional plan. And that's why we call it projected co coordination system. And sometimes we also call that map projections. Okay, so we have two types of coordination system. One is GCS, geographic coordination system. Another one is PCS, so projected coordination system. 
Uh, both of them are based on the ellipsoid. 